Yes, betrayal is one of the greatest teachers. And I know that may sound shocking, that may sound ruthless, but betrayal is an incredible teacher. And so, yeah, sometimes life does this to us. Sometimes life takes away our girlfriend, our job, our parents, our friends. Sometimes people stab us in the back. Sometimes our best friends take all of our money, stab us in the back. Hell, if, you know, some of you I know have been through divorce and you know this experience of, say, temporary losing your children. Because, yeah, life sometimes betrays us. Sometimes we're accused falsely. Sometimes we're publicly humiliated. And so why is that? I always like to look at what can I learn from an experience? And not like, oh, I shouldn't do that, not that kind of learning, but this other kind of learning. What quality of essence? What quality of my divine essence could I grow into? What quality of divine essence is the opposite, say, a betrayal? What is it within you that cannot be betrayed? What is it? What is it that can't be betrayed? That's why God gives us this experience. That's why life brings us the experience of betrayal. So we can discover that which cannot be betrayed, that which is indestructible. I can think of a time when my kids were stabbing me in the back, my friends and family wouldn't talk to me. My ex-wife was publicly humiliating me. And my teacher, who has been this manifestation of absolute love, unconditional love for 20 years. I can think of this time when he too told me I was wrong. So I was struggling in all these ways. I lost my total support system. And I felt alone. I felt isolated in the world. You know, as you know, that feeling of being utterly alone. And it's easy in that moment to look out at life, to look at God and say, this is a cruel universe. I don't want to be here. I don't want to live. Jesus, you know, in that moment, he looked up to God and said, Lord, why have you forsaken me? Why have you abandoned me? It took me a good part of six months of struggling with this pain, emotionally hurting, having tremendous heartache. To discover that God was inviting me to realize this ultimate strength, this absolute strength within me, a strength that cannot be betrayed, that cannot be abandoned, an indestructibility. The only way we discover this is through getting beat up by life, is through being rejected, is through having our friends and family stab us in the back, through being alone and isolated. It's the only way you discover your ultimate strength, your absolute strength, your absolute indestructible presence. It's funny because I can remember having this conversation with Adya, and I went to him, And I wasn't sure that I knew what it was like to be fearless. And of course, that doesn't mean that fear never arises in your form. There's there's times when it's appropriate for fear to arise. 
but to have fearlessness as a direct experience of your essence. For you to discover your absolute autonomy in the world, life has to abandon you. And you have to discover how strong, how true, how powerful you are. This is the kind of teaching I wouldn't wish on my worst enemy. But it's also one that I wouldn't trade for anything. This quality of deathlessness, of indestructibility, it is your nature. God is inviting you to discover this, for you to discover this aspect of essence. To discover that your nature cannot be harmed despite being beaten, abused, abandoned, forsaken, <laughs> beat up, whatever it is, left broke, God is showing you that your light cannot be put out. And that is an incredible realization. For when you know that, you know your power. Not egoic power, not some false confidence, but you know that in the truth of what you are, there is no end to you, nor could there be an end to you. That nothing, no experience, no matter how painful, can actually harm you. Your body can be harmed, your emotions can be harmed, your ego can be humiliated, but your essence is indestructible. And that's what life teaches us through this experience of being betrayed, of being forsaken, 